The crisis at the U.S. southern border continues to grow with record numbers of migrant encounters, 302,000 migrant encounters in the month of December alone. But it's not just people from Mexico and Latin American countries. 31,000 Chinese migrants were picked up at the border in the first 11 months of 2023. You're looking at video obtained by CNN showing the process many take to get from Asia to our southern border. According to reporting from CNN, China is on track to be the fastest growing group crossing the border. So why are they fleeing the world's second largest economy to come here? And how are they getting to the U.S. southern border? Chinese migrants told CNN's David Culver pandemic lockdowns and restrictions and an increasing disillusionment with government left them no choice. Many migrants from China come with the bare minimum, a few clothes, phones and any money they can pull together. The journey is complicated. For many, it begins with a flight into Ecuador, where no visa is required for Chinese nationals. In 2022, Ecuador had 13,000 Chinese nationals entering. In the first 11 months of 2023, 45,000. As numbers have grown, so too have the underground social media and business networks catering to Chinese migrants. One service, which arranges rides from the airport and stays at Chinese-run hostels, organizing the journey north, some migrants pay smugglers to guide them through the jungle between Colombia and Panama, or for tens of thousands of dollars more, you can skip the jungle and opt for a premium package, which includes flights to the U.S.-Mexico border and bypassing the rainforests and bus rides. The cost? Upwards of $20,000. CNN interviewed one 28-year-old making the intense journey for a second time. He admitted he hasn't even told his parents. His first attempt, a failure after being robbed at gunpoint, stripped of all his belongings and forced to go back. Now he's trying again. I left China because I was not able to save any money. It was really difficult to support myself, he tells me. He says some employers in China refused to pay him even after working. Even if they say the Chinese economy is strong, it is all about the upper class, he says. I wish I was never born. Living feels so exhausting. If fortunate enough to get to the border, migrants turn themselves in, hoping to be granted asylum. Most succeed. China accuses the U.S. of enticing nationals through asylum. However, U.S. officials say it's China's oppressive policies causing thousands to leave. Critics of the Biden administration blame, at least in part, what they call watered-down policies for Chinese asylum seekers. The New York Post reports the CBP cut down the number of questions its processors asked Chinese migrants from roughly 40 to just five, a move that followed an uptick in monthly border crossings by Chinese nationals in the first quarter of 2023.